So hi there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Red React. My name's Leon, I'm the one looking after you, otherwise known as Red. And yeah, we're back in the world of Saturn. And I thank you everyone who's been supporting this one. Uh, but again, the probably the most requested Saboton track that we've had so far. Uh, no Bullets Fly, the animated video. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this one. I've only seen the kind of very kind of last two seconds as we loaded it in ready. So yeah, already um, intrigued by this. So thank you everyone who's requested this one. There's so many to mention, but please keep those requests coming in uh, via the comment section. Doesn't just have to be Sabaton. Always interested to see what people have got to request. Please, please keep hitting that smash button if you're enjoying it. And of course, most importantly, please keep hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to be informed when we upload. The support you guys have given me in this channel has been amazing. Dude, this has got me curious. I'm uh, looking at a three of planes. So let's get on with this one. Let's have a look and see what's happening. And let's hopefully enjoy another one. Here's in. It's December the 20th, 1943. And in the freezing air, high above Germany, Second Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown is at the controls of his B-17F, the old pub. At 11.30, approaching the target of the Fokker Wolf plant near Bremen, the pub is rocked as four explosions go off right in front of the B-17. A cry comes across the intercom. We're hit. In the plexiglass notes, a huge hole had been made. An icy cold wind was being blown inside, making freezing conditions for the crew. Engine two had been hit, and co-pilot Spencer Pinky Luke let out an expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing. Releasing their bombs over the factory, the crew turned to the north, planning to head over the coast, then turn west for home. With one engine... So again, we've got the educational part of it kicking us off. Sabaton love doing this sort of thing. And that, uh, those B-17s and, and bombs of the Second World War were just such a dangerous job. Oh. The coast, then turn west for home. With one engine out and engine four now faulty, the pub started to fall back from the formation with another damaged plane. Sam Blackie Blackford in the ball turret watched as it disappeared into a cloud bank. There was an orange flash in the cloud. Bandits, Eki shouted, as five BF-109s streaked from the cloud bank. Then another cry. Bandits, as eight FW-190s were spotted in formation ahead of the pub. Sergeant Bertram Frenchy Coulomb in the turret shot the 190 out of the sky. The navigator, Al Doc Sadek, took out the second. Pinky reported that engine three had been hit. That left just one engine at full power. The BF. Um, definitely getting an education with this one as well. Running on one engine. Oh, scary. Full power. The BF 109s attacked the pub from behind, swarming all over. But due to the cold wind running through the pub, most of the guns were frozen. In a turn now. The pub was repeatedly hit, taking extreme damage and killing the tail gunner. A shell penetrated and exploded near the waste gunners, injuring the crew and creating a huge hole. The oxygen supply was taken out and the pub spun towards the ground. With the crew unconscious due to lack of oxygen, the B-17 fell for four miles. Whoa. Charlie started to come around and grabbed the controls, pulling back as the plane continued to fall. 5,000 feet, 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet. Just moments from hitting the earth, the plane pulled up, almost scraping the trees as it did. Through the bombers, damn us, they bring two hundred men, 
I say I build up to a song, but I mean, it's well. I just don't know what else to say to it apart from wow. This video is so well done. I mean, I know that the videos are epic, but this is just. I mean, the song is brilliant as well. And then the fact that you've got the band animated in it as well, and ah, blowing my mind. Again, it's it's that unwritten code, as they said, that you know, code of the skies. Yeah, it's it's. We owe, we owe so much to these guys. The story was kept secret until 1986, when Brown started the search for the German pilot who had shown mercy on that December day all those years ago. Man. So he kept the story secret for over four years. In 1990, Brown received a letter from a man named Stigler, who was living in Canada. Stigler explained that he had been the pilot of the German fighter who had escorted Ye Old Pub. This video is of their first meeting. Franz, what were your feelings when you met again for the well, first time? I was so happy as we met that I dropped him, helped him. Most of these in the The fact that he risked his life really in many ways, and I wrote him in a letter, I said, if you, uh, 
If you made a habit of feeling sorry for Bomber crews flying up alongside them, I am sure that you were shot down many times. But it was a not only the audacity that he came up to us and uh, then recognizing the threat. If someone had seen him and reported him, it could have been a death sentence. Wow. Yeah, you put your own life at risk with all that, with that heroism. Oh. Would you have done the same if you were in the same position? Franz gifted Charlie a book, and inside the inscription read, In 1940, I lost my only brother as a night fighter. On the 20th of December, four days before Christmas, I had the chance to save a B-17 from her destruction. A plane so badly damaged, it was a wonder that she was still flying. The pilot, Charlie Brown, is for me as precious as my brother was. Thanks, Charlie. Your brother, Franz. In 2008, within a few months of each other, the two firm friends went on their final journey. Franz Stigler never got the Knight's Cross, but as he always said, he got something better. My name is Jovita Ten Stiegler. I would like to thank Sabaton and your song, No Bullets Fly. Because of this, the story of my father will live on. See you on your next concert tour. Safe journey, gentlemen, and again, thank you. Wow. Wow. But that's... What an ending! What an ending! You know, it's a story that deserves to live. You know, we have, we have, there's lots of stories you get. I know there's going to be a lot of them as we deal with them, so I don't want to go into too many bits. But it's a story that deserves to be kept alive, and hopefully, playing our part now by doing this, we've done our little bit to keep it alive as well. Yeah. These videos always seem to make me want to recollect too much stuff. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all for this education. As I said, it, it, this is blowing my mind. Every time I sit and do these sessions of recording, something always amazes me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. Check out the links for ways you can support the channel as it grows and develops. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.